What's up, what's up? It's your boy, your babe, say what's up, records, layer production, back at you with another one. You already know, we ready to get into it. Another tutorial on mixing, balancing, getting your leveling right, man, you know? That's what we ready to do. All right, so what we got here, we got the uh, Klinghound, the UMT meter, right here. I'm going to show you what I do with this already. As soon as I jump into the plug-in, you know what I mean? The idea is it's going to come. Let me see what I can do with this. So, I was basing the structure off this, like the whole song. It was thought about using it right so this is what we gonna uh do we gonna start off i'm gonna let you hear what i got this is what i got right now you know what i mean you gotta worry about no copyright issues or none of that i ain't gonna do none of that what the big boys do you know what i mean they're gonna tell you can't play it and all that right i make it it's mine you can hear it we can go in right now So that's basically the rundown. We got a hook. We ain't got our person's yet. But you know I'm going to get them on there for y'all, right? But I want to go into the first thing to show you what I got out this plug-in off the break. But I did. All right, so we go. We go to this intro, intro track. You will notice. All right. This right here, them sounds, that's nothing but a recording of my sides. Basically what I did, I went into the edit. Basically. Mute my vocals. And just play this. Just only play the sides like this. And you'll notice you hear a little rumble, like it's a little bit of kick in my sides, and that's because I'm this is my master uh, fade in. You can see I'm turning in some sides, so I'm turning in from from my mids, my whole mids over there. So that's why it's that little rumble. But eventually, some kick is going to be in my sides anyway because when I run my parallel uh, compression and my oxen it's gonna be something on my sides anyway so it should be like your hook like your uh like at least your ad libs you don't gotta have your whole hook or all your verses but at least like your ad libs your beat it should be like your beat, your ad libs, and all that should still be heard on your sides. And it's like a trick you can do with taking your headphone cords apart and you wag together back, right? See, I don't know all the technical part about it, but this stuff I used to do when I was young, and I used to not do it. And I used to be able to get the instrumental of almost any beat because just by running the wires right, and it'll just only play the beat out, and the vocals won't be in it. But uh, I know somebody know what I'm talking about. I mean, the technical, what it is, how you doing it. But I used to just know how to do it, but I, ain't, I couldn't tell you what it was called, right? But, yeah, so 
basically that's where I know this concept from is true because like I say when I was young I used to be able to get the instrumental off things with that so I was running two tape two tape decks and recording on a tape deck just like 12 13 years old man putting two tapes in playing the music coming out back in with a core ox then to a karaoke machine with two tapes on it and EQ and echo and delay and all that yeah man recording in the closet <laughs> but yeah so I recorded this back in by see down here my master print track I recorded this bam so once I recorded it I brought it back but then I'm gonna show you the trick part how you achieve this gonna be out of phase so I'm gonna cut all these plugins off and I'm gonna show you You can cut this guy down. So you can see it's all the way out of phase. So that's why I'm doing these plugins right here. That's why I got the patch bay doing this crossing over from both sides. And you can't cut the patch bay off. There's only a delete this plugin option, so that's why I wasn't playing when it's coming through. And then I got a, a mono pass through, so I'm only using the left side of the channel. But you don't gotta. Then I also EQ'd out all that rumble that you was hearing, so that's why you don't hear no rumble on it because I EQ'd that out. And this would also you can do so. Let me put this back. So if you want to get the polarity back right without putting no plug in, you can do that too. So I wanted to show you both ways. So this is the other way of doing it. All you would do is click on this and just select either one of the channels, the left channel or the right channel. Just mute one of the channels. And now you will have the same effect happen. I'm showing it through the meter to come down. Oh, what's going on, man? Why it ain't coming? It's not coming out. Why is showing it here? Oh, okay. That's why, because I still got to select the sides. I didn't move everything around. That's why it's no size no more because now it's mono. That's why you don't hear nothing. All right, so let me turn the size off. So it's only mono right here. All right, so you can see it's only mono right now, but that's going fix the phasing for you that mono will keep you in phase though see so you can hear it's still rumbling 
but you can see once I turn the EQ on. Rumbling gone, so that's why I took I took the rumbling out. And you can see uh, down on the master one. You know I added some size, so you are gonna see that that's why that got some size on it too. See the master fade, it got some size, so. That's why you see some size when it's going out the master, but it really was straight mono. So I went through the mono, the mono pass through instead of this way. So I'm gonna turn this back the way I got it. Turn both channels on, but I'm showing you you don't gotta do this process with the plugins like I did. But I was just showing you both ways. So I already got this set up, so I'm gonna just cut these back on. And you can see right here. I got it going 17 dB to the side right here. So I gave it using the uh, meter plugin, the VU meter. I added some size to it, even though it's a mono track. So you know, just know this other thing too. You don't need a plugin to do mid and size with mono tracks. Uh, just a note, a note to know. All you would need to do is pan it that's pushing it to the sides that's giving it some size too even though you want more even though you're going more left or right just remember uh panning the mono track is pushing it to the side too so if you don't have but that's why the balance and the mix the balancing and the mixing is it could become difficult for some people when they just using the panels and the faders. So the easiest way is doing it through the plugins. So you can just go take a mono track and put it in the size just by panning it. Remember that too. So it could be no size in the center. Just move it a little left or a little right. So say you want to get some size on both sides, you would need to double the track. And then just move this at least 10, 20 to the right, 30, whatever you want to move it to the left or the right. And that will give it some size. That will, if it's just mono track. So you would need two of them. And that's how you will make you have size. All right. So that's what I did for the intro. Then on the outro, I basically did opposite. So So on the outro I basically did opposite. I did mono. So it was mono. I went to the mono, the mono part of the track. So I basically went and used my master part and went the mono and recorded it on this track. Recorded this track. Um, this track is already on, um, but I hit record. And once I hit record, it automatically I had it, and I just put it right here. Once I place it here, I then added my mono to stereo feel, which I created. is my mono the stereo feel so a couple plugins I put together to make it's a uh, I have a video on this so if you want to learn more about the mono the stereo feel just go check out my video this is a video complete is on this taking a, a mono signal and making it stereo without having the pain and all that inside attraction okay so basically I took my EQ no, I ain't do nothing with my EQ on here. Uh, 
basically this already do it for me because I already got it set so I ain't have to do nothing once I just load it it's just going to give it some stereo I don't think I even turned up no size I'm not. oh yeah I turned up the size 15 dB with my EQ so it got size now and that's what I did with that do my outro let's, hit me. let's give it another listen So now I'm going to just show you another little trick, right, which I already just mentioned before, but basically just taking and adding panels, just adding uh, volume, volume and pan, panels to the uh, track. This is my default one right here, which is at 12 dB, and the rest of these, I basically, I ain't touched the volume at all. All I did was add. Uh, curve storm basically <clears throat> and I used them and I did three um three different settings you can pick whatever three different settings you want and basically create your shapes that you want you can turn them into whatever shapes you want but these this quick ones I use what did it do just by using these will like uh, thicken the vocals up 
vocal, uh, get the vocals more space. Don't get any sound more space. I'm saying if we give it more space just by doing it, then let me show you. sound deeper it sound deep in tone with it off but it sound bigger in space with it on so like i'm saying so it'll uh, give it uh can give your vocals more room or whatever you want to use it can just make it give it more room and movement the movement part is the more the plus but the room part it be needed people want the room part and this was another just like demonstration thought too like so this song is just based off like demonstration like trying out hugging and showing that I'm basically able to whisper over the track and my vocals are still going to sit where they need to sit at and work because of the balancing process the process of what I'm saying is setting everything where it needs to be what need to go in the mids and what need to go on the sides and then if you want to move anything over doing doing that later in the mix but making sure that everything that's going to be the focus points of your mix are ready to be set if not put there already but ready to be set at any given time that's the main thing so keys key points that you know is going to go in so like if you got a band playing and you know you're you recording you know your guitar saying here and you know especially you, if you use the same guitar all the time, and unless you're trying to alter his sound, create some sound out of his sound, and make it something else like what I did with my vocals here, on a normal basis, if you want to just be the sound that it is and you know knowing that sound, you should be able to create that room without it in there at all times. You should be able to create that room. That's what your mix should be doing. So I'm going to show you basically. That's what's going on here. sound good in mono even though all them components are missing that's on the sides that should be your key 
You should be able to check it in mono and everything should sit right. And you can notice I have not one compressor on this edit. So let me go. Let me go copy this. Copy and paste this real quick. I thought I already done this.
Like, there we go, man. I know it look, took a little time, man, but it's the work process that it be, so I ain't gonna cheat you out of nothing. So, here we go. We already played the size, man.
Productions. Back at you with another one. Gave you a rundown how I do my compressors. Just went and did some parallel compression round. You know what I mean? Compression on my sips and keys. And a compression on the master fader. And if you'll notice, on my master fader, I uh, made sure I came back down to the volume that we was at. And also, cool trick balls in this plug-in like the hardware that if you got this shadow hills compressor once you found where you want your compressor at moving this uh, threshold and the attack at the same time uh, left or right once you got it it will uh, change the knee of the compression so if you would notice when I had did it you would notice the knee change so you didn't notice you can go back and check it and see what I'm saying but that's what it did it changed the knee whenever you move once you set the compression so keep in mind with that when you when you're moving this around so whenever you really want to reset it because it, it react different to different ways you've been moving it so you will want to move this up some and then stop moving your attack and release around because if you move one increment and move the attack it's just going to be changing your knee and if the opposite way if you just leave this hand and change your attack it's going to just change the attack and if you'll notice when you're using this plugin if you'll notice when you if you was paying attention when i'm using it it has a delay and when you start hearing what it's done what you've done with the plugin so you will want it when you're using this plugin if you don't know what you're looking for out of the sound in your first time this is a great experimental plugin so what you want to do is uh i would say don't move these knobs in more than two increments at a time check each one if possible if you got enough time if you don't know what you, you know what i mean you got enough time too because it's going to take a few seconds for it to come in the adjustment that you made so just keep that in mind with this plugin because it is calculating did you do these moves like I'm telling you if you move this and that at the same time it will calculate that you're changing the knee so you gotta give this a second to operate when you're working with this plugin alright this is your boy Obey who say thanks for watching sign up at this productions like subscribe get your chance to win one of these SDC stereo double compressor right here from their production the plug-in at sk note sign up like i say in their productions i'm gonna email everybody with the details peace